Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So if you found me on Instagram the other day, I said I was going to be doing... <coughs> so if you found me on Instagram, you'll know I asked on my story for questions so that I could do a Q&A over here on YouTube. So that's what we're going to be doing today. <laughs> so just before we get into it, some of these questions I probably have already answered on TikTok or Instagram. So sorry about that if it sounds repetitive, but you know, at least once I put it on YouTube, it's permanent and it's there, so then people don't need to ask me the same questions again. So anyway, yeah, let's get into it. So the first question and the most popular one is, are you a boy? Yes. And that follows through into my second question is, um, do you want to transition? No, I am happy as a boy. I just enjoy doing makeup. A lot of people are confused by that, but there's not any easy way for me to say that I'm just a boy who does makeup. The third question is how to be a skinny legend. Um, Obviously, I am an expert when it comes to this. However, it's just genetics at the end of the day. You're either born it or you're not. So I'm sorry, I don't have any tips for that. <laughs> Next question is, who would you like to have lunch with, dead or alive? Um, Cher, because I just admire her so much. She is such an icon and I've loved her since I was little. She just amazes me and she's timeless. So yeah, Cher all the way. Next, where do you live and where do you want to live? So right now I live in Liverpool in the UK and it's not bad, it's quite nice to be fair. It's got a really bad reputation with a lot of people. Honestly, I don't know why because when you look at it on like crime scales, it's not even the worst one. There's a lot worse places, but for some reason everyone has this idea that Liverpool's full of like thieves and yeah. Anyway, it's lovely, but if I could live anywhere, it would be... Probably the Maldives. I think it looks beautiful. It just looks gorgeous all the time. Like the water, everything about it. It just, it just looks like paradise. Other than the fact that I'll get killed there, but that's beside the point. <laughs> Moving on, would you ever want your own brand, and what would you produce? Um, honestly, if I got to like that certain like level of fame, then yeah, I wouldn't mind having my own brand. I think it would be really cool. To, you know, like have your own stamp on something, and people want to buy stuff from you. Um. I don't know what I'd make though, because I like clothes and I like makeup as well, but I wouldn't want to do both, I don't think, because I feel, well, until I've gone into it properly, because I feel like it'd be challenging trying to balance like clothes and makeup, but I feel like I'm probably a lot more well known for catfishing, so I'd probably do something along the lines of like makeup, like, probably like a foundation like for hide now, because obviously I've suffered with that. And it's been a nightmare trying to find like good makeup. So I'd probably like work on stuff like that. So I'm going to manifest into that. The next question is, how did you come out? And honestly, it's not an amazing coming out story. I'm sure I've told it before. Basically, I came home from school. My mum said to me, Joe, are you gay? I said, yes. And, <laughs> and she replied, I thought so. To be fair, never hid it well. Um, I've, well, I didn't try to hide it, to be fair. I've always just been Joe. I've dressed up, played with dolls, everything. So it wasn't like, you know, something like hidden um but yeah i think that was when i was 15 when my mum asked me that and it was just like yeah we thought so <laughs> like no no bad blood or not and it was like fine it was just mm. and a follow-up question to that is how did they react when you started doing makeup honestly i don't really think they had an opinion i think if anything they were more worried about what people would think of me or like you know they were worried in case people would say stuff to me and like bring me down it was just joe's doing something new because i say i've always dressed up in like princess dress and all that obviously not when i was 15 but it was just it's something else joe's doing because before makeup i was already very flamboyant in the way i dressed i wore like very not feminine but they were like a straight boy wouldn't wear it <laughs> okay so next question what is the weirdest brand deal you've been offered and what is the best brand you've worked with um the weirdest brand deal probably would be it was like a pace thing but for periods <laughs> Obviously, I don't get periods, so that was a bit weird. It was like some electric thing, and it like you like clip it to your um, pant line, and it like zaps you to like. It was weird anyway, and it's meant to like even out your period pains if you have like really strong ones. So to be fair, if you do have that, it's worth searching. But for someone who doesn't actually get them, it was a bit like. Mm. Um, and the best one is probably my most recent one, Lula Bells. I've adored that brand for so long. I have so many of their extensions. And yeah, it's just a dream to be able to work with them now. How long have you been with your boyfriend? So we met in November, but we didn't actually 
you know, like get together until February. We've known each other for nine months, and then. So yeah, five months we've actually been together. Someone's put up with me though for nine months. That's just <laughs> they've they've had to deal with my annoying self, and they're still coming back. Really good sign. Is gender important in a relationship? Personally, that's a matter of opinion. Obviously, personally, I don't. I think if you like someone, go for it. It doesn't matter. Um, you know, obviously, people have their preferences, don't they? But you know, if you like someone, like, don't be scared. Just go for it. Cause why? Why? <laughs> What's the point in being scared? Like, it's just not worth it. Yeah. No, I think if you like someone and you get on well, just go for it. I don't think gender matters at all. Okay, and to finish it off, would you rather be kind or right? Um, I'm always right anyway, but I think it depends on the scenario, doesn't it? Like, because what if someone's being like an absolute like, mm, um, and you just have to like shut them down and be right, but no, I think I do always need to be right. I do. I'm very opinionated and. I don't like not I don't like being wrong so but yeah I do still like phrase it kindly sometimes but like I some I feel like sometimes the truth is better just get it out there and that way like people know that they can trust you because you're not like beating around the bush and all that so guys that's it for my q and I I really hope you enjoyed this if you did feel free to like comment and subscribe if you want to see me on anything else I'll leave the other links to my socials down in the description box below and yeah that's it I'll see you soon bye